All right, everyone go ahead and find your comfortable seat. I anticipate that some people will still be rolling in as we're going through and that is fine. I like your purple hair scrunchie. Cross one leg in front of the other if that's comfortable or whatever seat is working for you today. And then start to gently rock side to side, letting your sit bones start to connect with the mat, letting your spine sway a little bit. And then start to slow down and come to that point where you have a long, tall spine. Lining your shoulders up over your hips, drawing in and feeling the crown of your head start to lift up towards the ceiling. Big deep inhale and a long, slow exhale. Another big, slow, deep inhale. It's all good. <laughs> And a long, slow exhale. Bring your arms up overhead. And then exhale your hands down to heart center. Inhale, open your arms up into a big hug, arms back. And then exhale, round forward. Inhale your hands back to heart center. Pause. Inhale your arms up, exhale back down to heart center. <laughs> Inhale your arms open, exhale round. Inhale your arms back to heart center and breathe. Inhale your arms up, exhale to heart center. Inhale open. Exhale, round. Inhale, back to heart center. Interlace your fingers so one thumb is on top and then press your hands out away from you. Lengthen your spine up, drop your shoulders and now bring your arms up overhead. See if you can turn your pinky finger back to the floor, stretching through the sides of your wrists and your forearms. And then bend your elbows, press back up. Bend your elbows, press back up. I know this is hard, tight shoulders, tight arms, tight neck, tight everything. And now release that, let your hands come all the way down. Roll your shoulders out three times. And then in the other direction, three times. All right, interlace your fingers so the other thumb is on top, the one that feels a little weirder. And then flip your hands away from you. Lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders, get nice and tall, bring your arms up overhead. Pull your pinkies down behind you. And now pull your elbows out to the side. Press back up. Pull back out. Press up. Nice, everyone. Pull down and up. We're going to open our arms. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left. And then bring your right hand to your left knee, your left arm behind you. Lengthen, exhale, twist a little bit further. Keep your hand on your knee and reach your left arm out to the side, up and all the way over. Let your left hip get heavy. Feel that deep stretch through your side body. And breathe. Come all the way back up. Reach both arms up to the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand behind you, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. 
Keep your hand on your knee, reach your right arm out, up and over to the left. And breathe. Come back to center, roll your wrists out, and then make your way into your tabletop position. So we're gonna line our hands up underneath our shoulders, spread your fingers out, pointer fingers pointing forward, knees are under your hips, legs are straight behind you, you shouldn't be able to see your toes. Then we're gonna drop our belly, take a big inhale, exhale round. Inhale, open your heart, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Reach your left leg behind you. Rock back and forth over your left toes. Stretch your right hand out in front of you on the ground. And now lift your left leg, right arm up. Hold here. Balance. Think about pressing down through your left hand and your right shin. Neck is long. Take one more breath here. And now lower your hand and foot down. We're gonna lift our right shin and rotate onto the edge of our left foot. Peel your left arm up to the sky. You got it. And now bring your left arm overhead, finding a big side stretch. If you can, float that left leg up off the floor and hold here. Thinking about reaching from your hands all the way, your hands, sorry, all the way to your foot. Take one more big, slow, deep breath. And now lower your foot down, lower your left hand down, come back into that extended leg tabletop. Peel your right hand up to the ceiling and then exhale, reach it under, threading the needle. Peel your right arm up. Exhale, thread it back. One more time, peel up and open. And then this time when you thread through, take a pause with your right ear on the mat. Reaching your left palm out up to the ceiling. See if you can spread the fingers on your right hand and close them in. Open and close. Open and close. And now slowly make your way back into your tabletop position, lining your hands back up under your shoulders. We're gonna make some figure eights moving our hips around in this tabletop. Maybe they're just circles for you. Maybe they're eights, maybe they're like smiley faces. And whatever you're doing, switch the direction. Trying to get everything moving around. Finding some fluidity. And now come back to your tabletop. This time we'll reach our right leg behind us, rock back and forth over your right toes. And reach your left arm out in front of you. Inhale, lift your left arm and right leg. Find your balance. Take another breath here. And now lower the left toe down, lift your left shin, lower the right toe down, lift the left shin, peel your right arm up to the ceiling. Reach 
Hand down, turn your left shin back to where it was. Pressing down into your right hand, peel your left arm up. Exhale, twist of the Buddha. Pull up your left hand. Exhale, thread Buddha. One more time, peel up and open. And thread Buddha. Go here. It's possible to bring your head, your head or your ear down to the mat. One more breath. Into your tabletop position. Open your knees, press yourself back into a child's pose. Reach your arms forward. Draw your fingertips up your mat. Feel a big stretch through your side body. Inhale, and on your exhale, see if you can let your hips sink back just a little bit further towards your heels. One more big breath in, and let your hips sink back. Slowly come back to your tabletop, line your knees up, shift your hands a little bit forward, curl your toes, and come into your downward facing dog. Pedal your down dog out, deeply bending your right foot, deeply bending your left knee, your right knee, side to side. And now let both knees get heavy as you press the mat away from you, lengthening your arms. Can you peel your fingers up off the mat and then press them back down and shift the weight into your fingers and your knuckles so that it comes out of the heels of your hands. Nice. On your next inhale, pull forward to your high plank. Drop your knees, press back into a tuck-toed child's pose. Come back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath, pull forward into plank, drop your knees, shift your hips back, and then lift up to downward facing dog. One more time, pull forward to high plank, lower your knees, sit your hips back towards your heels, and then peel yourself up into your downward facing dog. Nice. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee into your chest. Step your right foot up between your hands and lower your left knee down. Untuck your toes. Reach your arms out and up. Drop your hips forward, opening your heart up to the sky. And then exhale your hands down. Curl your left foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down. Untuck your toe. Bring your arms up. Shift your hips forward. And then float your fingers down. Step back to downward facing dog. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your left knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms up. Open your arms into a T and then give yourself a hug with your right arm on top of your left. Breathe here, find your balance, square your hips to the front of your mat and then see if you can lift your elbows up to the ceiling. Little back bend. Exhale, release, step back into your downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward, lower your right knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms out and up. Open your arms out to the side. And now let's give ourselves a hug with our left arm on top. Breathe here. Lift your elbows up to the ceiling, coming into that back bend. 
And then release it all down. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your right foot up. Oh, sorry, float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot forward. Lower your left knee down. Untuck your toes. Reach your arms up. Open your arms out to the side. Now this time we're going to cross our right arm over and see if we can come into eagle arms. If eagle arms is too hard, go back to that hug. You don't need to get your palms to touch. Back of your hands working. And now lift your elbows up, gaze up at the ceiling. Take another breath here. Maybe let your hips sink forward just a tiny little bit. And then release that down. Step back to downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left leg all the way forward. Lower your right knee down and tuck your toe. Reach your arms up. Open them out to the side, and this time cross your left arm on top, coming into your version of eagle. So it might still be hands on your shoulders. It might be back of the palms touching. And then lift your elbows up to the ceiling, and then let your hips sink forward. Take another breath here, finding your balance. Squaring your hips to the front of the mat, pressing down into your front shin and your left foot. And then release your hands, bring your hands down to the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Breathe here in your down dog. Let your heels get heavy, reach your hips all the way up. Gaze forward at your hands and start to slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands, coming into a deep forward fold. Soften your knees. Let your head hang heavy. Take a breath here. Reach for opposite elbows. And now maybe gently sway side to side. Maybe shake back and forth. And then release yourself and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, stacking yourself all the way back up to stand. When you get up here, roll your shoulders back. One, two, three times. Nice. Bring your arms out overhead, interlace your fingers, release your pointer finger, get nice and tall. And then exhale over to the left. Press down with your right foot and bump your hip further to the right. Come back up to center. Change the grip so that your other thumb is on top. Reach up, lift. And then exhale over to the right. Letting your left hip bump out to the side. And then come back up to center. Let your arms come all the way down. Sit your hips back, coming into your chair pose. Breathe here. I know. And now stand all the way up. Come to the front of your mat. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right leg back. Pause here in your low lunge. Open your heart forward. Plant your hands. Step your left leg back to plank. Lower both knees, hug your elbows in by your side, lower your chest and chin, untuck your toes, lift your chest, baby cobra, reach those elbows back towards your hips. And then press through tabletop, curl your toes over, coming back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Make sure you're pressing into your pointer finger and your thumb. And now float your right leg up behind you. 
Step your right foot all the way forward. Gaze out in front of you and then bring your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Palms touch overhead. And then we exhale right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back. Pause here in your low lunge. Open your heart forward. Plant your hands. Step your right foot back into plank. Reaching your heels back, long, strong spine, lower both knees down, hug your elbows in, lower chest and chin, untuck your toes, reach your heart up, baby cobra. Exhale through tabletop into downward facing dog. <laughs> And now float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Take a pause. Bring your right foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms touch overhead. And exhale your hands down by your side. Nice. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back this time. Maybe you're ready to lift your arms coming into your high lunge. Exhale, your hands down. Step back to plank. Your choice. Knees chest chin. Chaturanga. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot in between your hands. Gaze forward. Bring your left foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms touch. And then we exhale right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back. Maybe you're ready to reach on up high lunge. Exhale your hands back down. Step back to plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. And then bring your right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale them down by your side. Take a breath. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, slide your right leg back. Reach your arms up, high lunge. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Open your arms up and now bring your right arm over your left. If you want, bring them into eagle wrap. Breathe here. Find your balance, reach your right heel back and then release your arms. Come down to plank. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Baby Cobra, Upward Facing Dog. And we'll be in Downward Facing Dog. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Bring your left foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. And then exhale, right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your left foot back, high lunge, reach your arms up. Open your arms out to the side. This time, bring yourself into your hug with your left arm on top or eagle arms and pause here. Find strength in your front foot. Nice, everyone. And then release it down, step back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. 
baby cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. And then step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way out. And then exhale your hands down by your side. Take a breath. Maybe you want to bring your stance a little bit wider, a little bit hip distance, or you can keep your feet close, but I think most people are better with their feet a little bit wider. And then sit your hips back coming into chair again. Breathe here. Draw your hands to heart center. Sit your hips back a little bit further, lengthening your spine. And now we're going to twist to the left, bringing our right elbow towards our left outer knee. Maybe you can look up over your left shoulder. Press evenly through down through each foot so that you're not wobbling that much. One more breath. And then unwind and stand back up. Bring your hands down by your side. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, sit back into chair. Bring your hands to heart center. Lengthen your spine. We're going to twist to the right, bringing our left elbow to the outer edge of our right knee. Nice. You can reach your hips back a little bit more, shifting the weight into your heels. That might give you a little bit more space for twisting. Put your big toes down on the mat. One more breath here, and then unwind, stand up, release your arms. Go ahead and give it a shake side to side. It'll be okay. It's just yoga. I don't know, it's a yoga playlist. <laughs> Just went on Spotify, I wrote a yoga class, and that's what I got. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yoga. Okay. Come to the top of your mat. <laughs> Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Your choice, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Or skip it, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. So what I normally do is we will build a yoga flow. I will change it. We'll go through it probably three times. I will add stuff to it. I don't really ever take anything out of it. It's normally just additives. Put your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, draw it into your chest. Pause here with the leg lifted and then slide it up between your hands coming into a low lunge. Breathing here in low lunge, square your feet, check where they are on your mat, turn your right heel down, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot, part wheel yourself up into warrior two. So you're facing the door, you're gazing over your left fingertips, sitting down a little bit deeper. Straighten your front leg, reach towards me and come into triangle. So if you have a block and you wanna use that, Place it on the floor. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Now notice if you're, where your right arm is. I want you to try and reach it straight up to the sky, but now I'm gonna ask you to open it back behind you just a little bit, stretching that under armpit area. And then bring it back straight up to the ceiling. Bend your front knee, come back to warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come back to warrior two. Bend your left arm, place it on your left thigh, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Breathe here. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, turn your toes towards the hallway, towards the door. Take a big inhale, exhale, fold forward, bringing your hands all the way down to the mat. Lengthen your spine. 
flat back. Now you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna reach it up to the ceiling. And we're gonna exhale, we're gonna bring our right, our left hand underneath our right arm towards our right ankle or right shin, and then gaze up over our right shoulder coming into a twist. Release that. Bring your hands to your hips. Come all the way back up to stand. Open your arms out to the side, come back into your warrior two. Bring your right hand down, rotate yourself to the front of the mat, coming into high lunge. Open your arms into a T. Bring your left arm over your right, coming back into those eagle arms. Stay here. Nice. Release your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, rain them down. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa and we will meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here in down dog. Let your heels get heavy. And now float your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee into your chest. Take a pause here and now bring the right foot up between your hands. Come into your low lunge, square your hips. Press down into your right big toe and heel. Turn the left foot down, pressing into the outer edge of the left foot. Rotate yourself up into warrior two. Notice where your right knee is. And then straighten your front leg, reach your fingertips towards me and then let them come down to a block or your shin or the mat, reaching your left arm straight up to the ceiling. Now take that left arm just a little bit behind you, opening up through your chest, taking a tiny upper body back bend. Very, very, very upper part of the back. And then bring the arm back up to the ceiling. Bring yourself back into your warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come back to warrior two. Bring your right arm to your right thigh. Reach your left arm up, side angle. Sit your right hip a little bit lower. And then come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Turn your toes towards the windows. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward, holding on to your flat back and letting your fingertips come down to the mat. Plant your left hand down, peel up and open to the right, reaching your right fingertips to the sky. And then on your exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left and reach for your left ankle or shin. Look over your left shoulder as you twist your torso. And then release that, bring your hands to your hips. Lift your torso back up, come into warrior two. Bring your left arm down as you rotate your hips to the front of the mat coming into high lunge. Open your arms into a T and then bring your right arm on top, either giving yourself a hug or coming all the way into those eagle arms. Take a breath here. And then reach your arms up, exhale, rain your fingertips down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, nice. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Long, slow breaths. Let your heels get heavy. Press your fingertips into the mat like you're holding on to sand. Put your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee. Open your hip out to the left this time. Just give yourself a little bit of a hip opener there. And then extend the left leg back into three-legged dog. Draw the left knee into your chest. Slide your left foot up between your toes. Low lunge. Turn your right heel down. 
Press into the outer edge of your right foot. Bring yourself up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Feel that energy going up through your inner thighs. Reach your fingertips towards me. And then bring your left hand down to your shin or the floor. Reaching your right arm up to the ceiling. Now reach your right arm towards me. And then back up to the ceiling. And then back towards your right hip, towards the back of the room. And then up towards the ceiling. Forward towards me. Rainbow it back towards the back of the room. One more big rainbow to the front of the room. Rainbow to the back of the room. And then bring the fingertips back up to the ceiling. Lift yourself back up. Bend your left knee, come into warrior two. Breathe here, extend your fingertips away from each other. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Make sure you're pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Nice. Come back to warrior two, bring your left arm to your left thigh, reach your right arm up above you. If you want to, you can slide your left hand down to the floor or a block and bring your right hand behind you for a bind. Maybe you can gaze up over your right shoulder. If you're in any sort of bind, unwind, come back to warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes towards the hallway. Breathe in, exhale, hinge forward. This time, let your head hang heavy, coming all the way down to the floor. Maybe you can bring your fingertips in line with your toes. And then we're going to bend our right knee and walk our hands closer to our right foot. See if we can stretch the inside of our left thigh. Nice, everyone. Let your weight add to your stretch. And now walk back to center. Bring your hands to your waist. Hinge yourself back up. Take a breath, stand tall, and now rotate your heels in and bend your knees out coming into goddess or second position, depending on what your upbringing was. Sit deeper here. Maybe you can find a little bounce, a little pulse. And then straighten your legs, come back into your warrior two. Turn yourself into your high lunge. Open your arms out to the side, cross your left arm over your right, coming into your eagle arms. Shift your weight onto your left foot and step your right foot up to meet it. Sit back in chair. Breathe here. Sit your hips back just a tiny bit more. And now shift your weight back onto your left foot. Can you slide your right leg back into that high lunge? Release your arms, rain them down, step back into plank and go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin. Nice. And peel those hips up, let your heels get heavy. Put your right leg up behind you, bend your right knee, open your hip. Strain your right leg back into three-legged dog and then draw the knee into your chest. Step your right foot up between your hands. Turn your left heel down, pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. Cartwheel yourself up into warrior two. Breathe here. Straighten your front leg, reach your arm forward and then bring it down towards your right ankle or shin. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Activate your inner thighs so that they're rotating towards each other and you're 
pressing your feet into the mat. Now bring your fingertips, your left fingertips towards me, and then up to the ceiling all the way to the back wall. And then towards me, and then up towards the ceiling, towards the back wall, towards me, to the back wall, and then back up to the ceiling. Lift yourself back up into your warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle, placing your right forearm on your right thigh, reach your left arm up and over. Sit your hip a little bit deeper. Come back to warrior two, straighten your right leg, turn your toes towards the windows, hinge forward, letting your head come all the way down, rounding your back. Walk your fingertips possibly so they're in line with your toes. And then bend your left knee and walk your hands closer to your left foot, coming into a side lunge. Walk back to center. Bring your hands to your hips, stand yourself back up. Take a breath when you arrive and then bring your heels in. Sit down into your goddess pose, pressing into the outer edges of your toes. And now we're gonna shift to the right, shift to the left, almost straightening that one leg. Nice. And then come back to center. Turn your right toes out, come into warrior two. Bring your left arm down, coming into your high lunge. Open your arms out. Bring yourself into a hug or eagle arms with your right arm on top. Take a breath here. Shift your weight into your right foot. Slide your left foot up to meet it, coming into chair. Breathe here. Shift the weight back into the right foot. Slide the left leg back. Unwind your arms, high lunge. Exhale your fingertips down. Step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. Let your heels get heavy, reach your hips up. Put your left leg up behind you, bend your knee, open your hip. Extend yourself back into three-legged dog and then step your left foot all the way forward, low lunge. Turn your right foot down. Car wheel yourself up into warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach towards me, coming into triangle, left hand down, right arm up. Reach your right arm towards me, finding a big side stretch. If you want the challenge, float your left arm up by your left ear, framing your face, burning your core. And then cartwheel yourself into warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Flow all the way through to side angle. Maybe you wanna come into that half bind on this side, which I forgot to do on the other side, but that's okay. Half bind, full bind, whatever is in your practice. And then unwind from that. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes to the hallway. Hinge all the way forward, coming into a deep forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Reach your left hand for your right shin or ankle. Reach your right hand for your left shin or ankle. See if you can cross your arms and connect to somewhere on your legs. It might be your thighs. Let's be realistic. The ankles might be not possible. Thighs seems more 
more doable. And then release that, bring your hands to your hips, stand all the way back up. Turn your heels in, sit down, coming into goddess. Reach your arms out to the side. We're gonna bring our left arm on top and come into our eagle arms. Breathe here, sit a little bit deeper. Straighten your legs. Turn yourself towards the front of your mat, lifting your right heel up, coming into your high lunge. Lots of balancing there, I know, but you can do it. You can always unwind your arms if you need to. Shift your weight forward into your left foot, and maybe this time you bring your right knee all the way up. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you find something to hold on to. Yeah. And then maybe you sit down and cross your right foot over your left. Maybe you can hook the foot all the way around. These are lots of maybes. One more breath. And then unwind everything as you step back into your high lunge. Bring your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank and go through your vinyasa. We can live with lots of maybes. We can live with lots of trying. We don't need to worry about perfection in here. All right, and downward facing dog. Maybe you need to shake your hips out a little bit. Maybe you enjoy the stillness in your body. Float the right leg up behind you. Step the right foot off. Oh, no, open the knee, sorry. Open the knee. And then extend the leg back into three-legged dog and step all the way forward. And turn your left foot down, cartwheel yourself up. <coughs> Excuse me, into warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach forward, bring your right hand <coughs> to your right ankle, reach your left arm up and over. <coughs> Bring your left arm towards me, left bicep by your left ear. And now if you want the challenge, put the right arm up by the right ear. Nice. And then lift yourself all the way up, cartwheeling back into warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Reach your left arm overhead. From here, reach your right arm down to the ground, come into a half or full bind. Breathing here, feeling your torso twist, gazing up over your left shoulder. One more breath. And then slowly unwind back to warrior two. Straighten your right toes. Turn your right toes towards the windows. Take a big inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Let your head hang heavy. Reach your right hand for your left thigh. Reach your left hand for your right thigh. Nice. Good job, everyone. Think about rotating the weight into your toes, seeing if you can lift your hips up just a little bit higher. And then release that. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift yourself all the way up to stand. Take a breath. Lift your heels. Bring them in. Sit down in goddess. Take a moment to get settled. Adjust your stance if you need to. Reach your arms out to the side. Bring your right arm over your left, coming into eagle arms. Find your balance. We're gonna turn to the front of our mat, coming into high lunge. So it's a little bit of foot switching, twisting. And now slowly shift your weight into your right foot. Maybe you lift your left foot all the way up. This might be where you stay or you start to bend your right leg, cross your left leg over, coming into eagle legs. And release 
everything step back and go exhale, come all the way down. Just looks like you're casually hanging out, leaning up against the side of the building. Step back to plank, go through your vinyasa, and we will meet in downward facing dog. All right. That was it. We're not doing that again. That was the third time. We are done. All right. Let's put our right leg up behind us and bring our right knee to our right wrist coming in to, oh my gosh, I just, oh my gosh, down. This morning in my HIIT class, we do three sets. Like we do three sets, boom, boom, boom. I did one set and then I was like, okay. And I moved on and everybody on Zoom was like, we have two more sets to do. And I was like, well, that was very kind of you to point that out to me. Uh, I've, I've had a weird Monday today. All right, reach that left leg back behind you. Bring your forearms down, maybe your whole entire head down to the mat. Hmm. Take a big inhale and on your exhale, let your right hip sink a little bit lower. Stretch your left leg a little bit further back behind you. Let the tension go away from in between your eyebrows. Make a little puff sound to let your jaw relax. And now come back up onto your forearms. Press your hands into the mat, straighten your arms, take a little bit of a back bend here. Roll onto the outer edge of your right hip, keeping your left leg extended. You'll face the, the street. Bring your sole of your right foot into the inside of your left thigh. Flex your left toes up to the ceiling, reach your arms out to the side, and then bring your left elbow down on top of your left thigh or maybe to the floor in front of your left leg. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. And now bring your right arm over your head towards your left toes. One more big side stretch here. And then from this side stretch, you're gonna Rotate your torso, bringing your nose towards your knee, coming into a forward fold over your left leg. Roll all the way up nice and slowly. Take your left hand to your right knee and then bring your right arm behind you, coming into a twist. One more breath here. And then plant your hands and come back into downward facing dog. So maybe you go through tabletop and then lift your knees coming into downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee to your left wrist. Slide that right leg back behind you coming into pigeon. Slide your arms down. Eventually bringing your head, your forehead all the way down as far as you can, either onto a block or maybe stacking your hands like hot potato. And then let your shoulders relax. Reach your right leg a little bit further behind you. Let the space between your eyebrows relax, let your jaw relax. Slowly come up onto your forearms and then straight your arms, rotate onto the outer edge of your left hip so you'll be facing the doorway. Extend your right leg away from you. Bring the sole of your left foot into your right thigh. Reach your arms out to either side. Bring your right arm down to your leg or onto the ground in front of your leg and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. And then exhale, bring your left arm over towards your right toes.
And now rotate your torso so your nose comes towards the knee of your right leg, holding forward. Roll yourself back up, bring your right hand to your left knee, bring your left arm behind you coming into a twist. And then slowly unwind that, bringing both feet to the mat towards me. Plant your feet, reach your arms out, slow roll down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet in. We have time for one bridge, one back bend bridge or supported bridge, or if you really want to do a wheel, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm going to do a bridge. So plant your hands down, feet are hip distance apart, toes are pointing away from you, and then lift yourself up one vertebra at a time, lower back, middle back, upper back, thighs parallel. Imagine that you're squeezing a block or a ball in between your thighs to really feel them start to activate. And then focus on pressing down in your big toe, your pinky toe, and the heel of your foot. Two more breaths here. And then slowly come down the same way you went in, upper back, middle back, lower back. Windshield wiper your legs side to side if that feels good for you. And now before we move into our Shavasana, if there's anything you still wanna do, happy baby, legs over your head. Maybe you wanna go straight into your Shavasana cause you're like, I'm done. That's all good. Maybe you need a big side twist. And then when you're ready, extend your legs away from your body, extend your arms away from your body. Drawing all the energy that you can think of into the center of your body, drawing it in and tensing up every limb, every finger, every muscle, squeeze everything into the center. And then on your exhale, let it all relax and melt away from you. I'm gonna come around as you're in Shavasana with some lavender oil and do Shavasana adjustment. If you do not want me to do this, place one hand on your stomach and I will know to give you your space. All right, let your body get heavy, let your limbs get heavy. Close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. Let your jaw relax.
Start to deepen your breath. Maybe wiggle your fingers a little bit. Let your head rock gently side to side. And then when you're ready, reach your arms up overhead, taking a big stretch. Fingertips to toes. And slowly roll on to one side. Taking a few breaths here, readjusting. And then slowly press yourself back up to a seated position that you find comfortable. And then once you're there, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Notice your heartbeat, notice your breath. That's the life and energy moving around inside of you. Acknowledge it. Thank yourself for taking the time to come to practice. And I thank you all for allowing me to lead you through your practice tonight. Thank you. Namaste. Wonderful.